Hello photography fans and welcome back to another LensVid review. Today we're taking a look at the Hollyland M1 wireless transceiver monitor. Let's see what it can do. Hollyland has been providing wireless transmission solutions for video and audio for some years now. We have reviewed a number of their products already and today we're taking a look at their new Mars M1 transceiver monitor. This product is an innovation since it combines two very useful pieces of gear into one small versatile package. Being a transceiver, the M1 works as an on-camera transmitter monitor to wirelessly send feed to other monitors while also being able to receive video feed as a remote monitor. Hollyland ships the M1 in a cardboard box. The kit includes the monitor itself, a glass screen protector, and a D-tap to DC cable. There's no carrying pouch, but since the monitor is pretty compact, it shouldn't be hard to find some sort of protection when transporting it. The Mars M1 is a 5.5 inch LCD touchscreen. The body is made of a hard composite plastic and covered with a rubberized shockproof bumper. On the left side, the unit features HDMI in and out ports. Additionally, there's an SDI port on the back. There is an option to receive feed through the SDI and send it out through the HDMI. On the right side, there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to monitor audio and a USB-C port to power the unit to upload LUTs and for firmware upgrades. On the back of the unit, there are two other power options, the MPF battery plate and a DC jack. There's also a DC out to power another accessory. The power button is also located on the back. When the device is powered up, a short click on the power button disables the screen's touch function. To power the unit off, long press the power button. To mount the monitor, there are metal quarter inch mounts on the right side and on the bottom. Both of these come with anti-rotation pins. Thank you. Okay, Hollyland, I'm in receiver mode now. Hey, there you are. Yeah, loud and clear. Absolutely. Let me let me de-squeeze you. You're looking a little wide there. Oh, I just flipped you upside down. Sorry, sorry about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, less playing with the toggles and more subscribing. Yeah, the button's right down there, right next to the bell notification. I'll let them know. Hollyland M1. The screen on the M1 monitor emits 1,000 nits of brightness. It's not the brightest there is but it's definitely bright enough to use in daylight. Hollyland promises that the screen colors on this monitor are calibrated and the image is definitely very similar to what you see on the camera screen. In case you need to further customize the look of the image, you can actually change the white balance of the screen in the assist functions. The M1 comes with a full set of assist tools. To bring up the tools menu, tap on the screen. Here you have all the standard tools, including exposition tools, magnification, ratio, and anamorphic squeeze. There's also a screen freeze toggle to temporarily save a screenshot for reference purposes. Unfortunately, there's no option to save multiple screenshots. The short menu gives wireless settings and screen options. In the wireless settings, you can choose the channel and switch from transmitter to receiver mode. There's also pairing command for connecting to the transmitter when the unit is in receiver mode. That is the sound that the monitor makes, but the fan can be controlled in the menu as well. This is a bright screen and it tends to heat up, but it's not too hot to the touch. When in regular mode, the monitor fan is definitely audible, but there's also a mute option. In the screen options menu, you can control the screen's brightness and volume. There are also toggles to turn on the volume levels that appear in the corner of the screen and to turn on recordings. Unfortunately, the M1 only allows to record up to three minutes and you cannot export the recording for reference purposes only. Like with the screenshots, this is a very limited feature and we would have preferred for Hollyland to include an SD card slot in the fixture to record internally. We tested the M1 both in transmitter and receiver mode. After updating firmware on the device and on the older transmitter, everything worked pretty seamlessly. Booting up does take about 20 seconds, but once the unit is connected to the camera through HDMI, it receives feed right away. One very useful feature in transmitter mode is sending feed to multiple devices running the Hollyview app. We tried it with different Android devices and it worked with no issues. The app gives access to all the same assist tools and also allows to record to the device. The only thing we would add to the app and to the monitor for that matter is camera control. There's an interesting toggle in the monitor's menu called Trigger, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe Hollyland is planning remote recording in an upcoming firmware upgrade. Hollyland promises 150 meters of range for this unit. In our range test in the studio, the feed was stable from 10 meters away, even with multiple walls and a metal door in between. 
With two metal doors, the app on the tablet would lose connection. As for latency, there's definitely a bit of delay, but it's not significant. While it might be a problem for action scenes, for most shooting scenarios, a slight delay would not get in the way. In conclusion, the M1 is a quality product with compact design and powerful features. It's great both as a screen as well as its function as a transmitter and a receiver. When combined with an extra M1 or multiple apps on different devices, it becomes its own ecosystem. As for pricing, the Hollyland M1 sells for $550 and you can buy a set of two with a $100 discount. And that is it for our look at the Hollyland M1 monitor. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.